love and the ones we love leaving us. So why don't we all take simple precautions that can help save our lives? Buckling up is just one of the many precautions we can take to help prevent death. According to Injury Prevention and Control, seat belts, wearing seatbelts can reduce serious crash injuries and deaths by 50%. Today I will be discussing seatbelt safety. I will address the statistics of deaths caused and saved by seatbelts. I will tell real life stories and personal experiences. And I will um, discuss the current law in place against not wearing a seatbelt and the penalty one can get if caught without one. We have all heard of tragic stories of people getting in car accidents and either being ejected from the car or tossed around so much in the car that they suffered either life-threatening injuries or the outcome was fatal. 30, according to James Madison University, 35,000 people die each year due to the, um, the lack of seatbelts when getting in a car accident. 50% of these people are said that they would survive if, wearing, if they were wearing a seatbelt when they got into that car accident. About 75% of car accidents happen just 25 miles away from home. Most of us get in the car and we think to ourselves, oh, I'm just driving down the street, I'll be fine. We don't expect the worst to happen to us or any of our loved ones. So we get in the car, we drive to our destination, and we don't buckle up. But why wait until tragedy strikes to realize how important wearing a seatbelt really is? Let's take precautions ahead of time and um, help prevent death. Um, James Madison University also claims that 100 children, about 100 children die each year in car accidents and that they were, um, and 80 of those children would survive if they were properly buckled um, in safety restraints and if they were wearing a seatbelt. Parents need to make sure that, that they are buckling their children up as long as themselves um, every time they get into the car. I'm sure we have all heard a little bit about the story about the five teens that were driving around downtown just a little over a month ago. They were driving well above the speed limit and the, um, and the driver lost control and hit a cement barrier. Out of the five teens, only one of the um, girls was wearing a seatbelt and she's the only one that isn't suffering from life uh, threatening injuries. One of the teens was ejected from the car and killed instantly. Three of the teens are in the hospital still suffering life threatening injuries. About a week after the accident, one of the girls died. Um, one of the girls died. This is just one of many, many examples of how seatbelts can help prevent death and help save our lives. About six years ago, me and my family were driving home from Utah during the winter months. There had been a huge storm down the highway and it was continuing to snow. On the news, they were advising people to try to stay off the highways if at possible. But due to work and school, staying on an extra day down in Utah wasn't an option for my family. We decided to take that journey home, but we would just be extra, extra careful. The six hour drive um, turned into an all day adventure. There were cars pulled over on the side of the road waiting for the storm to pass and people were driving well below the speed limit. During our adventure home, our car hit an ice patch on the road and our car went out of control. In fact, I really can't remember much about the accident, but the police tell us that we were really lucky that we only had the injuries that we had. A few scratches here and there, um, minor concussions and a couple of broken arms were the, what we, were the only injuries that we got from the car accident. The police tell us that if we hadn't been wearing our seatbelts, the outcome to our car accident would have been much different. I'm sure we have all read the signs or heard the saying, click it or ticket. Um, in Idaho, there is a law against not wearing your seatbelt. <coughs> law enforcement can issue a ticket for not solely based on not wearing a seatbelt, but there must be another reason to, um, for the traffic stop. Idaho Transportation Department says that if um, says that any adult 18 or older that is found without a seatbelt will be um, <coughs> given a ticket of ten dollars, and any passenger that is riding in the car under the age of 18 will also get a ticket, but the driver will have to pay for all of them. Um, today I've discussed uh, the the statistics of serious crash injuries and deaths. Um, caused by not wearing a seatbelt. I've given real life experiences and true stories and personal experiences um, where seatbelts were worn and failed to be worn. 
I have discussed the current law in place in Idaho against not wearing a seatbelt. So why don't we buckle every t up every time we get into the car? Whatever your reason may be, let's change it. Let's lower those numbers of deaths caused by the lack of safety restraints. Um, we shouldn't wait until it's too late. Let's take the first step of preventing death and let's buckle up every single time we get into the car. Good job.